So this is a, a decent schedule. The problem, though, is if the user comes up and says, so, well, I don't really want a four-year loan. I really want a three-year loan. Watch what happens. We don't reconcile. The reason we don't reconcile is because although the algebraic computation up here, up here are correct, where total payments will be 26000 the math down below in the detail extends beyond three years. Three years would have been 36 months, but you see we still show interest payments and we still show the uh, uh, principal payment being made in the, in the fourth, in the 48th month, uh, and that obviously doesn't uh, apply. Another thing, you know, if we did it for a longer period, what if we made this for uh, 20 year, 25 years? Once again, and now we're $42,000 off. Why? Because our schedule only goes down uh, 48 months, which is a lot shorter than 25 years. So what we want to do is we want to actually improve this schedule so it can handle a variety of user inputs. Maybe uh, loan periods anywhere from uh, 0 to uh, 30 years. So I'm going to go back to Control Home, and we're going to start making some modifications to take care of this problem. I'll move this back to a loan period of four years. The first thing we want to do is let's get rid of all this old data. We really don't want any of this, so we are going to delete all of it, uh, just so it doesn't uh, corrupt what we tend to do later. Okay, so just delete it all, start from scratch, and I'm going to step you through the formulas to uh, compute the month and interest payment and all that other stuff. So to continue, you want to move into cell A21, which is currently blank, and we want the month to only appear if it's in the loan period. So we would want months 1 through 48 to appear, but any months beyond that we would want to appear blank. Uh, but if the loan period changed to 5 years, we would want 1 through 60 to appear. So I'm going to show you something called an if-then statement that will be used to bring in the month for uh, applicable months of the loan period and to put in a blank when it's not part of the loan period. First thing you need to know is how to use what's called the count function. Uh, the count function simply counts the number of cells that have a value in it. For example, if I go like if I'm in cell E13 and I type count, a left parenthesis, and I highlight uh, maybe four cells, and these four cells all have values in them, then the count should be four because these four cells do all have values. Now if I extend the range, maybe I'll change this 11 to be uh, seven, you see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cells that are in this range. See if you see that. There's actually eight cells in that range, but what's the count? The count is only seven. Why? Because the first cell in this range has no value in it. So that idea of a count will come into play in what I'm going to do next. So move into cell uh, A21, and we're going to use what's called an if-then-else statement. What an if-then-else statement is, is you say, if this is true, then do this. Otherwise, do this. And uh, it allows you to do some pretty fancy and uh, powerful things within Excel. So we'll start off by typing the equal sign, and then if. And then what we're going to do is we're going to count A20 to, in this case, A20, which currently, since there is a value in there, 0, uh, the number would be 1. So the count would be 1. If that count is greater than the loan period times 12, then that would mean that we are beyond the loan period that we're trying to compute for. If that's the case, then we should put in a blank in this cell. Now, if we're not beyond the loan period, then what we want to do is we want to put in uh, the month number. So the month number would be the prior month number plus 1. And let's hit enter. And so what's just happened is we've come up with 1. Now if I copy this down, let's go down to um, row 61, let's say, and you can see the numbers keep computing. But if I go just beyond 48, 
drag it down just a little bit further well, let's go back one you'll notice that as I drag that down uh, I went down to row 73 uh, I actually wound up with payment months beyond 48 I didn't want that to happen what you need to watch out for is if I go into F2 my count is only A72 to A72 what I wanted this count to be was A20 to A72 so it counts all those uh, months uh, prior to it so what we need to do is we need to go back and change our original formula so well, what we'll do is we'll just this is no worries and this is a good thing to learn um, we didn't fix our beginning point using absolute references so I'm gonna hold the shift button down and go end up and then go down a couple cells and we're gonna delete from 22 down okay and go end up so all you, you want to do is you want to just get back to this original formula everything below you just want all deleted and now you're on A21 and hit the F2 button and the only thing we need to change to make this work is put a dollar in front of the A and dollar in front of the 20. You really don't need it in front of the A because we're not going to copy this to another column and therefore the column reference won't change. You could have just left it like this. Um, another w way of doing this is if it's sitting there as A20 like that you can hit the F4 button and it will toggle to fix the column and the row if you toggle again it fixes just the row, toggle again fix the, fixes the column and you toggle again it's back to normal so I'm going to toggle it once fixes the row and column that's certainly good enough and now I'll do what I just tried to do I'm on cell A21 and I'll drag it down maybe uh, maybe to row 80 it's a left mouse click and a hold all the way down and release now you see I have nothing in 80 but if I go up you'll see at 48 uh, there are values in there the formula is exactly the same but for 1 to 48 it inputs the month number so 1 to 48 it inputs the month number but from beyond 48 it puts in this double quote double quote which is a blank so I hope that makes sense to you uh, and we want to drag this down even further we want to go maybe down to row 380 uh, the reason I'm doing that is so that it can handle a loan period up to 360 months okay so I've dragged that all the way down to row 380 so bottom line I just hit uh, end up just make sure you've got your uh, formula in cell A21 to look exactly like this you need to have it exactly like this and then you copy it down to row uh, 380 all the way down so we've got our uh, month working just fine.